Welcome to Digital Crack. This is Mario. I'm back with another video here. Um, as promised, um, we were going to be following back up on the latest pin uh, acquisition. Uh, the last time we left off, I was giving very high praise to this pin here, the Eco Transparent Blue. Uh, I have absolutely love this thing. Um, I love the way it writes now. Um, I had to do some adjustments to it, but you know, overall, I, I love the way it writes. I uh, love the look of it, love the weight of it. Um, I don't know, it's just something about that that, trend, uh, that demonstrator pen that make it look like you know you're riding with a piece of candy. Just it looks gorgeous and inviting. And um, make sure you keep this out of the range of little kids because they probably will think the same thing. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got in the mail today um, the other pen that I promised you guys that I would be getting, and. Um, this is the uh, more expensive of, uh, of the eco pens that I have because uh, the blue transparent one is an actual, is considered an economical pen, even though it does not write like one or or has the features of an economical pen. Um, I don't say you know I've seen a lot of people's reviews that say oh this is a good pen to start off with if you're a noob or whatever no this is just a good pen at all you know just all together it's just it's just a good pen it doesn't matter if you're a noob or not this is a good pen um, so here's the unboxing I ordered uh, first oops. sorry for that <laughs> first I ordered uh, some more ink and uh, this one I mean, Ink Makers 1864, Ancient Copper. Along with this, stepped out on a limb, guys. I've never had copper ink before, and uh, lately I've been really getting into oranges a lot more. I don't, I don't know why. Um, so the copper uh, kind of reminded me of a close orange, and this is the bottle. It's really nice, really pleasant. It's a gold accent. I mean, a gold top. It's pretty cool. Okay. All right, Diamond. All right. Put you over to the side. And here we are. Notice this logo, guys? <laughs> Should. Same logo that was on this pen. Yes, the same brand, Twisby. Has captured my heart. So, I ordered another pen. I took the chance that, you know what? If this is considered, you know, echo, you know, an echo version or uh, eco, I'm sorry, eco version of their of their lineups, what would be a more expensive version of their lineups? Why would that come out? So I ordered the drum roll, please. The oh, cool, the precision. I don't know if you guys have seen this pen, but it is. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see that all together, but I'll raise it up a little bit. But it is absolutely a beautiful pen. Um, just caught my eye as soon as I saw it. Now, um, already comes with your instructions on how to ink it because it's a piston filler. Uh, tells you about the um, tools that are located underneath it. So let's take. This plastic off. Okay. This side. And what do we have? Move the tabs. Whew, it's cold to touch. It's pretty cold outside, but it's cold to touch because it's metal. Oh yeah, this is nice. Um, it's definitely one of the nicer pins that I've purchased for myself. It lines up perfectly. Um, there was some video I saw. This guy said his didn't line up when he tightened the ta the, the cap down. So let's. Um, I don't know if this pops open or. Yeah. Look at that, guys! Oh my goodness, so beautiful! It does post. So I went with the fine nib. Um, should have 
in my infinite wisdoms, I uh, should have gone with a medium nib, I think. Um, this is the uh, demonstrator window that lets you see your ink. And of course, this is a piston filler. So uh, you twist the cap down and then you twist it back up. And it fills up the ink. So we will be putting that orange in in just a few seconds. And I'll pause the video and be back with you in a moment, okay? Okay, we are back. So I filled it up and I was going to do a comparison being that uh, I've done some modifications to this to make it right more of a medium and I uh, haven't done any modifications to this, don't think I will be being that uh, the price of the pen and the looks of the pen and just you know the fact that I want to keep the pen as it, as it is um, <clears throat> now here comes the moment of truth <clears throat> whether or not we actually can approve of the pen not just based on looks but based on actual writing so <clears throat> I normally start with my same simple sentence. This is where the ink stops. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Even though it's a fine, um, it writes so, you know, fluidly, it writes soft. Um, <clears throat> it's putting out right, um, you know, just the right amount of ink. Um, it's quiet, even though it's not a medium nib. Let's, let's see if I can do some line variations. There's some, some line variations. Um, yeah, this this looks amazing. Um, I like the copper orange, definitely. Uh, reminds me of almost almost like a close to a brownish type of um, color. So let's so as you can tell, this one. A little bit noisier. Um, but it puts out, you know, a lot more ink. So, definitely, um, these two pens definitely serve different purpose and different way. Um, if you didn't see this before, here's the finial difference between the two. The finial logo here and the finial logo there. Um, you can tell that one has a higher quality finial presence on it. Um, I'm not sure on this one, oh, you know, if this is going to get scarred up because of the posting or not. So I'm not sure if I want to continue to post it. Uh, I might just go without it being posted. I'm hoping that I can continue to post it without scratches. I'll look online to see if there's any. But um, for right now, I don't think it's something that I want to do. Um, you can tell here it says Twisby Precision, made in Taiwan. Uh, this is a Taiwan, a Taiwanese company, and uh, but their nibs are made in Germany. So if that is any consolation to Germ to German writer um, fans out there. Um, if you like those types of nibs, you you know you'll fit right at home with this this type of pen. Um, but regardless, I have two great pens. Um, this pen will run you about eighty dollars online. This one will run you about thirty. $28 plus tax or whatever. Um, you could probably get it for $28 even, uh, depending on the place and um, time frame in which you search for it. But overall, I mean, it's just two two different writers, definitely. Uh, one puts out a lot of a lot more ink and it's a lot more wetter. Uh, this puts out a as its name says, precision. Uh, it puts out a precise amount of ink and a precise amount. Of uh, fluidness um, to go with to go along with the pens, um, aesthetics and weight and and quality. So, this is Mario signing out of Digital Crack. Thanks for visiting us. We will be doing a final review on which one wins the um, fountain pen shootout, and uh, hope to see you then. Thanks.